Hi, I'm Pam and I'm here to talk about video games. Welcome to another episode of Short Games for Busy People, recommendations for great games that you can complete in just a few hours. My recommendation today is a new FMV game that stars two small-town radio show hosts who find themselves in a series of surreal situations. It's Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe was developed by Dia Vecchi Studios and released on May 19th, 2020. It's currently available on Steam, but is planned to be brought to consoles later in the year. Dark Nights is an interactive movie of the choose-your-own-adventure type that uses live-action footage. Poe and Monroe have a nighttime radio show in the small town of August. They tell spooky stories, share curiosities, and have callers on air to share their dreams or darkest confessions. Poe and Monroe, we quite quickly learn, are more than co-hosts and have a romantic relationship, an illicit one since Poe is married. But this is only one source of drama, as they're constantly getting themselves into dangerous situations. These can range from things like dealing with a threatening caller, to exploring past lives, searching for missing people, or finding themselves trapped in a cursed painting. Hate when that happens. During the game, you'll have choices presented to you in the form of hotspots appearing on screen. Which one you select will determine how the story goes. There isn't a ton of interactivity, but your decisions are important. Some choices will result in seeing a slightly different version of the same scene, many will determine which of the characters you want to take control, and others will change the course of the story entirely. A lot of the game rides on the performances of the leads, and I think they're great. Maybe we should call it a night. And a band now, listeners? Monroe, this isn't like you. I just have a really bad feeling about this. I think something terrible is going to happen. Shh, Alice. I can feel your heart racing from here. Everything will be fine. I don't think so. There's a certain camp factor to any FMV, but that just adds to the charm. Leah Cunard's Monroe is delightful. It's clear why she's a favorite of her listeners, and she provides much of the heart and humor of the game. But also, depending on your choices, she can have a bit of a dark side. Clemens Curring's Poe is dramatic and resolute, and has the perfect voice to host a spooky radio show. Even though I was generally rooting for Monroe to leave him. Most episodes feature other actors as well. The voices of call-in listeners and other residents of August make frequent appearances. The performances are decent all around. I was also impressed by the technical side of things. The video quality is high, and the lighting in the game was great. The different scenes are stitched together rather seamlessly, and everything flowed well. I also really enjoyed the game's frequently changing mood. Poe and Monroe have plenty of playful banter, and at times, the sexual innuendo is thick. Maybe we should have a safe word. If you're worried. I'm worried I won't like it. Then we should definitely have one. It often felt like a 50s sex comedy, which was a welcome break to the tension, as segments of the game could get quite dark and surreal. The quality of the writing is high enough to handle these substantial tone changes. Dark Nights is episodic in nature. It includes six episodes, which take about 30 minutes each to complete. This is brief, but I never felt like things were being rushed, and I love being able to easily complete one or two stories in a single sitting. It also helped ensure that I would play the episodes again to see how differently things could turn out. Though the entire game can be played in less than three hours, there is five hours of video footage to discover by making different decisions. All the episodes were enjoyable, but some stood out more than others. I particularly liked episode 3, which had the pair questioning August residents in search of a missing student. It had a bit of an X-Files flair to it, and introduced some very compelling side characters. 
The final episode was also great in the way it managed to interweave both Poe and Monroe's relationship woes with mysterious supernatural occurrences. This is the third game by Diavecchi Studios. They previously released The Shapeshifting Detective and The Infinite Madness of Dr. Decker, both of which I enjoyed. They're all FMV games, but have differing styles of interacting with the story. Poe and Monroe were first introduced in The Shapeshifting Detective, so if you've played that, you'll recognize some characters and locations. There's also an episode which ties into Dr. Decker, and it ended up being my favorite of the six. It changes up the gameplay, lets Cunard take on an entirely different character as she's hypnotized into experiencing a past life, and weaves a story about a terrible murder. I've really enjoyed all of the Diavecchi Studios games, but Paul and Monroe has wound up as my favorite of the three. The episodes are compelling, the interface is simple and easy to use, and the performances and writing are great. If you like FMV and spooky scenarios, I definitely recommend giving this one a shot. If you're interested in other FMV games, check out my reviews of Her Story or Under a Killing Moon. I have a Patreon if you want to support this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.